food waste costs supermarkets and grocery stores billions of dollars a year. Why is there so much food waste all throughout the food supply chain? Well, you know, I, I think we normally don't think about this, but fresh produce is a living, breathing thing. Um, you know, when you pick it, you've disconnected it from the source of, of its energy. And over time, it is continuing to breathe and it uses up all those nutrients that it's built up inside and uh, it, it eventually goes bad. And so, you know, Fruit only has a certain number of breaths that it's able to take in its entire lifetime. And oftentimes uh, those breaths get eaten up in the supply chain. And so we end up uh, throwing fresh produce away. And Appeal has developed an edible food coating that helps preserve food. How exactly does the technology work? The trick with Appeal is that we found a way to use food to preserve food. So we use materials that are found in every bite of fruit and vegetable that you eat every day in order to create a water-based formula that we apply to the surface of fresh produce that adds a little extra peel. You can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't feel it, but it's there and it's slowing down the factors that cause fruit to go bad, which are water going out and oxygen going in. And by doing that, you slow down these things that cause fruit to age, and the result is the fruit lasts two, three, four times longer, even without refrigeration. And so my understanding is that you have to make a formula for every single individual fruit and vegetable. Why is that? Why can't you make a, a general formula for all? We think of fruits and vegetables as, well, it's fruits and vegetables, but they're all different species. Um, they all you know, evolved in different places and had different environmental conditions. And so what a peel is really doing by adding this little extra peel, as the fruit is continuing to breathe and move through the supply chain, we're building up this optimized little microclimate inside each piece of fruit and vegetable. So the same way that you store a banana in your home differently than you store a strawberry, we want to create a different microclimate inside of the banana than we do inside of the strawberry, and that means we have to tweak the formulations. So if you think about what that means for a grocer to be able to cut their in-store waste in half, not only are they now you know, not buying something that they end up throwing away, now they're buying something and selling it instead of just instead of throwing it away. And so there's this double benefit baked in by reducing waste on grocery store shelves. What kind of improvements are you guys working on for your current formulations that you have? What I get excited about here is, you know, although the products that we're in market with today achieve a doubling of the shelf life of fruits and vegetables, by and, and that's reducing in-store waste by 50%, by continuing to push those, uh, th those formulations uh, further and further, when you can triple the shelf life of produce, you can bring waste down even further. And then what that means, not just for grocers by reducing in-store waste, but what that translates into, into people's homes, means that you'll be able to bring home a mandarin with you that could sit on your counter for, for four months before it would need to be thrown away.